face is developed with the two wings. My name is Matsubiso. I'm with my twin sister Tsubiso, and together we are the, the two twins. twins. So you're still introducing me even here. <laughs> okay, introduce, introduce okay, yourself. My name is Tsubiso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> welcome to Double Up, Double Up with the, the twins. twins. And is this the twin talk? No, not really. This is not a twin. It's talk. a story time. Yeah, story time. We just decided, guys, we just decided um, to do some story time. Anyway, it was influenced by the conversations that we've been having with um, the twins. Yeah, the previous two yeah. types of twins, and I'll say. Oh, I yeah. What we're going, no, no, for now, what yeah. we're going to be talking about mm. today, yeah, we're taking it from. Um, the conversations that we had with uh, Mel and Mel and Lucky and Tanta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Um, if you haven't watched those videos, is the is episode seven, seven and, and episode, episode eight. eight of Twin Talk. Mm -hmm. So you can just go back and watch the videos. Yeah, because um, when we were talking to the guys, they told us that they were partly isolated when they mm -hmm. were at school. Because other kids will just pick on them now and then, mm -hmm. just trying to protest this twinship thing if they can separate them. Yeah. Yeah, they will say this, you know, different things. Um, so they actually bullied them a little bit because they didn't take it to heart mm -hmm. because I guess they could, you know, protect themselves, yeah. something like that. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about bullying, mm -hmm. even from the stories of um, Mel and Mel. Mm -hmm. They did mention uh, some sort of bullying mm -hmm. when they were in primary school. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we got triggered because we were also bullied. A, a lot. lot. Yes. A lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Guys, from the beginning, I would say we grew up in the village, right? Partly in the village and the and the township so the bullying happened in the village, in the village because mm -hmm. in the village you go out and play with other kids so when we we're in the township our grandmother didn't allow us to be out there because she thought it wasn't safe so we we're always inside the household we were hardly ever out on the street playing with other kids and our grandmother was the shibim queen no. so she was being feared no one will actually <laughs> bully us in my grandmother's presence no there's no way now you say we now we get out. Papa, no. Yeah, we say we say pile ma. Hey, I say na le na le ba. We ask help. I say we say pile. When we were telling that man with muscle to get out, Papa, no. We say we get out. Papa, good. And I want him to talk to me now. Hey, Melinda, Melinda, no. Because even when they were fighting on their own, remember like. Yes. The husband and the wife will be mm. fighting, and then the husband will come to my grandmother crying, Melada, you better one to go mess. You have to say, this man. The day Safari will come and say, Melada. And then Melada will, will go to this bed. He wanted his bed. He wanted his bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, man, I remember every time that is. Um, let's say we, we go in somewhere and then there will be guys who are looking at us. Yo, never shiver fed up. Baba, I keep when I sell my crisa and I'm about to walk a wapala. I know it. Eh, my coco, my crisa. How will not can charge up Kailo Volamo? Yo, but I'm not going to take you with heart. I don't wear not already by yourself. That's a good thing. We know this. I listen to you. I know all I went. Don't ask me such questions. <laughs> And some of these people were against us. Yeah, they were feared. They were feared. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but my grandmother. Hmm. Yeah, I so now we are anything. talking about our yeah. grandmother. Hey, yeah, bully. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it was fun because when we were in, we, when we were at our grandmother's place, we yeah. knew that we were highly protected. protected, and at the place where everybody considered dangerous. Mm. But when we were around our parents, because Bona they were relaxed to ah, you know, the village. You know, so nothing is dangerous, but it became danger to us. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So I remember the other day, because we talked about this incident on the previous video, but it was not me. Because I like this hack local when you got stabbed. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh we did. We did explain. Maybe we are repeating ourselves. We did. Yeah. We just we yeah. just didn't talk about what happened after, after that. Because yeah. I remember we were in grade six when mm. that happened. Mm. Because that's when our, our parents decided for okay, okay, after grade seven, you guys are going to the boarding school very far from here because we, we want you guys to enjoy your childhood with other kids who will understand you, not mm. these ones who are always running after you, bullying you, doing this and that. Because now it got bad with that. The, yeah. I, I'm sure people will, will be interested to hear what happened to that girl. Christa. Yeah, after that, yeah, yeah, I actually want to talk about her <laughs> because um, later on in life, because we went to we went to high school mm. and she continued. And she was very smart at school, mm. I remember. Yeah. So hey, she dated some <laughs> old men. Old, mm. old, who was like the boss of our uh, traffic, traffic officers, officers. Mm. yeah, around the area. Mm. So she was like the first um, slave, queen. slave queen in the mm. village. Mm. Yeah, she was like a top, mm. top slave queen. Yes, I remember uh, the some <laughs> girl from next door even saying the brother is fighting because this man <laughs> bought her a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the man bought him. You know, but. What, because back then, the cars will come. Mm. So this man, but one thing I know for sure, this man didn't even have a car. Because yes. he was like an officer who will just stop someone because he was a traffic officer. Yes. Maybe you don't and have a And he was also a bully. A bu yeah, he was yeah, a bully. Because yeah. mm. well, he was feared. Mm. And then he will take your car and go and check the girlfriend mm. there mm. in the village. Mm. So he will come in uh, different Four plus one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Always in four plus one. Four plus one. What do you call four plus ones now? It's a cab. Uh, yeah, a cab. Uh, mm. Makes it takes. Makes it takes. Yeah. Mm. So she, he bought this girl a fridge and mm. then uh, she would buy her the polonies. Because the family is poor. They yeah. don't have those kind of mm. things. The Viennas, the yogurt, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, the cheesy bar. So the brother would, <laughs> would try to eat his food and then this girl from back to the no, she went and bought a pet lock. <laughs> so that kind of a fridge had a pet lock. Like it doesn't it make sense. Ah, she was lying. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was a deep freezer. In a deep freezer you can freeze. <laughs> yes, you can, but <laughs> This is like exaggerating. Yeah, right? She was <laughs> exaggerating. Okay, yeah, yeah, she bought a pet lock so yeah. that the brother doesn't just open and open. eat and stuff. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that meant, and then it escalated. Mm. She became a slave queen at some point. She was a. She even dropped out of school. Yes, she dropped out of school and yeah. she was always drunk. She was a drunk. Yeah, she was a drunk. Forever mm. drunk. I what? remember. Now she, I can remember when we were young, she started bullying us, yes. and then we became isolated from yes. other kids because mm. now we were scared to go and play with other kids mm. because of we're scared of what would happen. Mm. Now later in life, okay, she got sick. Yeah, yeah. What? She was she was no. one of the first people no. to get Hi. sick. Yeah, mm. yeah, to get sick. Yeah, to get sick. Yeah, <laughs> yes. She was really really sick because I remember everybody was saying yo is so thin you know things like that and she yeah passed like away. you know back then when people were sick like that like mm. they would do weird weird things, things. and mm. weird things would happen that mm. they would have like mm. there's this thing that they call they used to call it leband mm. yeah it's like you get some sores around your waist i think her sickness like, became yeah. famous because everything that happened to her was i don't know it was over over the top everybody knew about the things that she will do because she started uh, out as she was the this young queen of yeah, the she village. became the slave queen and mm. then also she became known after stabbing mm. us then mm. she became the slave queen and at school also she was doing well mm. but she did not pursue her studies mm. because of she yeah, liked behavior. things behavior mm. and then also dating that guy also yeah. made her <laughs> notorious mm. yes and then now she is sick mm. 
at an early age because yeah. she was still young and yes, it, yeah. it was terrible yeah. and then she died at, and the, when she... at the time when she died <laughs> back then so in the guys, village people were burying people in in their yard, in their yard. So there was she no, was the like first a, person a cemetery yeah. she was the first person yes. to be buried in a cemetery yes. and then for years and years yes. she was alone in that cemetery because people were not really getting used to taking um the deceased to mm. that cemetery they were still you know fighting to bury Very them you know closer yeah. to mm. them and for years she was the only she was person alone she was alone that's so she became that's when a serious isolation yeah yeah that's when that I said, uh -huh. her karma came in her death mm -hmm. because even now, before that because that girl suffered before dying yeah. she really suffered mm. Yo, it was bad. So that cemetery, they actually named her. <laughs> they named it after her. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah we are laughing. Because uh, this is someone who has passed on, but she knows. She knows what she did. If, that's mm. if people who are dead, they can hear what you say. That's fine, but she knows what she did to us. So, mm. yeah, she made us suffer. So she suffered in her death because she was all alone. Yeah, she was one Yeah, but like, like, like eventually people started. Yeah, because they never got arrested. We did open a case, yeah, but yeah. it just ended. Mm. That, we don't know what happened. Mm. Yeah, we went to court once, and then after that, they said, okay, we mind. And then after that, there was nothing. Yeah, so there was nothing. They got their own karma. Mm. Yeah, so the mother later on in life, mm -hmm. my mom used to. My, my mom forgot yeah. about. This whole, this whole incident, incident. she How forgot. How do you forget someone who nearly killed your kids? I don't know if she forgot or she just forgave. She says she forgives mm. every time I remind her. But remember, this person did this, and she says, "Then I did pay." Nah, mm. not the reason why I'm always happy is because I forgive. Mm. I forgive. That's my mom. Everything she forgives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can go and do something huge to her tomorrow. She will say, "I have forgiven." I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Mm. Yeah, so she mm. was borrowing this woman, the mother of that Actually girl. Actually helping money. her with lots of things. With a lot of things, not mm. just borrowing money. Mm. Like they were close. Mm. So this other time. Yeah, for some time we didn't know because we were at the boarding school. Yeah. We didn't know that my, my mom was really helping out this woman and she usually comes to our house. Mm. Yeah, we'll be shocked. Yeah, because I remember the first time I mm. saw her coming, I was like, oh, this woman comes mm? here. Mm. like yeah why not mm. okay so my mom uh visited us because this woman later on she got a job she was working as a domestic worker mm. uh somewhere around uh, Josie. Mm. so our mom, our mom came she visited us and we were supposed to drive her back home so the bosses this woman's bosses gave her some some stuff lots of things you know mm. like um kitchen stuff, stuff in the house yeah like mm. old stuff in the house mm. so she needed transport to transport those things and then my mom she's here now and she calls her hey and then her mom, Luna, we are going to that woman yes. who is going to collect those things. Sure. Okay, we've got no choice, we go. <laughs> and that day I was wearing a, a vest, a revealing mm -hmm. vest, like showing cleavage, because they stabbed it. They stabbed me here on, mm. on, on, on my breast. On breast. Mm. Yeah. Like the star starts from here mm. all up to here. And then there's another When I want to try to the cleavage out, yeah, you are showing that the star. star. Yeah. yeah. So now you have to hide. Yeah. I think it's better now that you did breast reduction. Yeah. Because, yeah, now mm. that mm, it still shows, but mm. I've got other stars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we go. I'm wearing this revealing vest. I forgot about this whole thing, but then the sky is showing. Mm. When we got there, you know, that woman was looking at me, checking the sky, and I'm asking myself, why is she looking at me like this? And she looks embarrassed. Mm. So later on, I remember, oh, now I see. 
she still remembers this guy what, what happened she yeah what she did yes oh she was uncomfortable eh? mm. and my mom didn't notice anything so when we left i told my mom did you see your friend wasn't comfortable how which was anna yeah your friend was not comfortable because <laughs> She noticed this guy that she caused a long time ago. She still knows that her and her daughter, they stabbed me. And then now we are here helping her. And my mom said, Lunabo. Oh, Lunabo. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah, that was the whole thing. And then there was this boy called Tierho, guys. Yo, that guy used to make our lives a living hell. Yeah. Because you said we were in the same class with him. Yes, we but were. But I don't remember all these things when mm -hmm. we were at school. Because I only remember on weekends. No, at school he wouldn't, he wouldn't do anything. Because our mom was there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Would yell at home. home. Every time he would make sure that like, he, he says something to us. You guys are looking. He was very short. Like extremely short. So obviously, um, I think he had some insecurities. So whatever that was troubling him but i don't remember people treating him differently because of his height but we all knew him. maybe boys were treating yes. him differently mm. we didn't know about anything because because we also short but we don't have no. insecurity but then yeah, he, he is, is extremely like a, short yeah, he's extremely short yeah. he's like a, a midget yes yeah. but he doesn't look like other midgets you know the midget they have a certain look yeah he doesn't look like that he but does. he is uh, a like he had a big voice yeah just some of the characteristics <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't aware that they have big voices they do yeah <laughs> yo mm -hmm. do you hated us because all the time it would be amongst other kids and he just said you're looking at me you you too you two are yeah, looking and at you me. Just point at us like it's, it's just a group of people, and then we just come straight to us and say we are looking. Every at time, kita lot, kita lot. Like we we are hey. terrified all the time. We keep saying kita lot, and then when we look this way, why are you looking that way? Why 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 are you looking that way? Am I disgusting? Yeah, you just don't know. Were you like? Why are you laughing? You laugh, and then you start crying. Yeah, ne kitsibile like. You just don't know what to do when this guy is around you just know we are in trouble somehow in trouble because mm. our existence it just, just annoys, annoys him, him. Mm. so even today we're still asking ourselves some questions so what was going on that year okay Mm. So that was the case. Yeah, so it happened that <laughs> late, yes, we were already, we were adults and we went to visit our friend in the East End. We went to the East End Mall. Come on, Ling. Yeah, because ah. me, I, I had totally forgotten about mm. Tiyeho. Like, mm. I didn't even remember mm. that there's a person called Tio in life. Because the, the last time we saw him, it was, was in primary, in primary school. school. Then yeah. we went to the boarding school. Mm. Yeah, and then we forgot about everything. Yeah, everything so, else. remember, it was in primary school. We mm. went to high school, we finished high school, we went mm. to tertiary, we mm. finished tertiary. Sure. We're now working. Yeah. yeah. So, we're working in the mall. My so sees Tio. <laughs> now I just see my take him off. I'm like, what's going on? She changed direction because you know when you are walking in the mall, mm. Jiki Jiki my so runs into the store. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, <laughs> like, I was still scared of him. Remember, we yeah. adults and we're walking in school now. We're with our friend and her friend. Mm. We're wearing high heels in the mall. My mm. is running away from Tia. Here now he's going to embarrass us. Yeah. In front of our friends. Yeah, our worries like the, the same the things he used to do when we were kids. He's still mm. going to do them now. Mm. And we are not ready for that. Yo. Yeah, that was trauma, yeah. hey? Yeah. It was traumatic. I wonder what will happen if we. Yeah. Is he still alive? I don't think. Musa, Musa okay. they used to be friends. They used to be friends with Musa. Maybe Musa knows. <laughs> yeah. But Musa, Musa once asked Murna, where is 
Yeah, although, yeah, but Musa is still very much interested in him because yeah. every time when he goes to uh, Suruta, he asks about Kia. Namukaz. I know about Kia. So it happened again. It happened again. It again. Yeah, now I heard that she's now around the work in the East Front because she had a family that was living in Katlehome. home. Mm. Yes, because when she moved from that village, she went to Katlehome. I don't know if she's still alive. So, mm. Masanonali, and she hated us with passion. You know, the other time I had to sit down my parents, but what have what you is guys that done, done to this mm. girl? Because the way she's abusing us, it's really bad. And Elena Nata. And Anna, her focus was always because you're wearing that yes. t-shirt, you think you're better. Mm. We put on, when did I say I'm I'm better than her? Mm. And then I said, Oh, because now because you have Luna that in the morning you wear slippers. You wear slippers, <laughs> you think you are better than me. Yeah, everything, yeah, everything of mm. ours. Or you're wearing new shoes. Today you think you are better. It was all about we think we are better because of this and this. She had reasons why mm. we think we are better. We think we are better than her. And then every time she was scaring us away, after school, mm -hmm. she's going, going to, to beat, beat us up. up. All the time, it's Malchonono and beating us up. We have to change direction or we have to wait until our mom is done so that we can go with our mom, not with other kids because Malchonono mm. might, might be waiting for us somewhere. I terrorized. It was really bad. So, yeah, that was the case. So our, our parents, they made the decision, okay, these kids, we are taking them to the boarding school. We don't know, okay, is it because it's the, it was the two of us? Because our parents, they really took care of us. Remember in the early 80s in the village, because always in pink, it's the two of us. Mm -hmm. So they just got irritated. We don't like this. So that was our our, our story, life, yeah. our story. The bullying. Mm -hmm. And it's not even all of it. Yeah. Because we don't want the video to be we too see. long. So we're still gonna come to the other parts of bullying that we experienced when we were still young. Yeah. Okay, guys. Else? No, 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 no. Thank you for watching, if you are watching. <laughs> Obviously, the person who's listening yeah, to you is, is watching. watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Please remember to Yeah, if you know. Like. Okay, now I just want to say mm. this. I get the other bully. Mm. Yeah. And then, the, the Tiaho, if you know where Tiaho is at, maybe you should just comment and say, I know him. There's somewhere in... Like I would some whatever land. <laughs> you want to meet him? No, no, no. To just want to, I just want to know where he is and mm. what he's doing. <laughs> I don't want to meet him. Okay. Hey, I'm still terrified of him. And Umar Shonono also. People who know her will also comment down here and say, we know her. We didn't know she was a bully. Yeah, but just know that she was a bully. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please continue watching our videos. Um, we've decided that um, in between twin talk episodes, we're going to do give story, you story time. time. Yes. Yeah. We're going to give you story time. So this is the first one. Um, yeah, that's it. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you just came here by chance or you just uh, stumbled upon the video please remember to subscribe and also like the video if you're coming for the second time or you are also a, you are you are you are already a subscriber please share the video and like don't forget to click on the like button and the notification bell so that every time we upload the video you are notified you don't miss out thank you thank you so much guys we love you bye -bye. and bye bye